Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome to 2020. I hope that your year is going by well. You know, I know it sounds like if you've watched the news at all, it's been kind of a crazy year already uh, with the wildfires and some political stuff and all that. But you know what? We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to talk about that. There will always be stuff like that, so it's really not worth talking about. You know, all we can do is just you know, try to help if we can, or pray, or do whatever we can. But anyway, let's get into the painting. So today we're going to be doing a line painting, so we're going to have our lines going across. Um, I'll go over the paints in just a second. And then the tool, uh, we're going to be using this little edge painter. So I got some more of these. I've got a few of them here. Um, but these edge painters you can get at like Home Depot. I think you can get them at like Walmart or something. But I got them at Home Depot. They're only a couple bucks. And it's for like painting uh, the edges on your wall. But they, they produce really nice clean lines. So that's why I use them. So we're going to be using some of those. And, uh, and then these are our colors I've got laid out here. I've got dark brown, dark blue, light blue, yellow, red, purple and gold. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a stir and then we will get into the painting. Uh, to produce the painting we're just going to create some lines and then we're going to scrape them so that they are very thin straight lines. Uh, and then lastly just a note on the paints because I've been getting asked a lot. Uh, the paint is gloss enamel. Uh, it's basically a high gloss house paint. It's initially what Pollock used for his paintings and uh, when I first started painting and I was trying to emulate that I started using it never really turned away from it although I use acrylic every now and then. Uh, lastly the gold is PPG metallics which you can also get from Home Depot. Uh, but that's it so let me give these a stir and then we will get to painting. Okay Quick note, uh, because it's cold outside and I store my paints in the garage, some of them are very thick. Uh, so I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of water just to kind of loosen them up because from sitting outside for months in the, in the cold, they've actually thickened a little bit. Okay, so we've got all of our colors mixed. Um, we're going to go ahead and start laying them down in horizontal lines. And while we're doing that, I wanted to kind of talk about uh, just some future stuff. So we'll go ahead and start. We're going to start from left to right um, and just kind of go through and make our lines. Now, one thing you'll notice uh, that I don't, the colors that I don't have here are black and white, when normally I, I do have black and white. Um, I figured that this this painting I probably wouldn't need it and so I, I didn't add it when I usually tend to use black and white in a lot of my paintings because I, I just feel it's balanced um, but we're not going to do that today. So another thing that we're also going to try with this painting is we're going to try to make some thicker bars of one color. Normally it will just create these really thin lines of single colors which is fine um, but we're just going to kind of mess around with it. Also, in the future, I will be doing a Gerard Richter style painting, uh, probably in the next few weeks or month or so. I'm going to try to get some acrylic paint to be able to do that. I know he used oil, or uses oil, but um, we're going to try to, we're going to pick up some acrylic and try to make one of those paintings. Someone had asked about using slow drying medium and adding that to it. I don't know if that works. I've never tried. So we might be able to, we might give that a try. Now it looks like I'm kind of slanted here and my paint is going at an angle. It's not exactly what I want, um, but it will kind of get corrected once we actually do the painting and you'll see what I'm talking about when we do it. So I'll just make a kind of a nice bar there. And then we'll bring the yellow across. All right, so as we're doing this, the last thing I want to bring up is that 
I'm going to be doing another Pollock style painting uh, at a certain amount of subscribers like I have been. But instead of 500, I'm going to cut it down to 250 because uh, people seem to really like the Pollock style paintings. So I definitely want to, you know, I want to give you that kind of uh, content if that's what you enjoy. So I will be doing another Pollock style painting. 1750 so if we can get 1750 subscribers or 1750 however you want to say it uh, once we reach that milestone i will be doing another pollock style painting so we only need about 200 more subscribers for that so once we reach that i will be happy to do another pollock style painting for you guys all right so we've got that now these colors probably look like they're not going to go together and it, it probably seems kind of like a mess right now and it's going to um, until we actually mix these colors and bring them together it's going to seem very disjointed kind of random so we'll just do another strip of purple there and finally gold which since it's a uh, gallon of gold, it's kind of heavy, right? Because it's gold plated. All right, so we'll bring some of that in there. And I feel like I'm losing the blue right there, but I'm just going to leave it. Now you'll notice I'm putting more on the left. It's not intentional, but it's going to help to carry the colors through. And we'll just put some gold at the top. Okay, so I think we're good. And now we get to the actual painting part. So we're going to basically start from the left and work our way right and just pull those paints all the way through the painting. The only issue I have with these paintings, oh, real quick, I'm going to grab some coffee because I've got it here and it's cold outside. All right, so. The only issue I've had with these paintings is the edges, not getting paint all the way across the edge. So I'm going to kind of dip the paint and brush it off the side. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and pull this paint all the way through the painting. Okay. And you can't really see it, but there's there's some separation here. The uh, the paint isn't covering the whole surface because I wasn't pushing hard enough. So I'm going to go back and start over and apply pretty heavy pressure to the paint to get it to cooperate. Now, while well, I'm going to stop real quick and show you this, see this paint is building up. We, we almost want that because it's going to help the paint carry throughout the painting. So that little build up is fine. Okay, couple notes. One, we missed the corner, which I might be able to fix. Two, there's a little dot here, but it's also a little curved because I'm not completely straight in trying to get this to cooperate. I, it doesn't always come out straight. So I need to fix this um, because it's going to, it's gonna bother me if I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the paint up here Right, and then I'm going to take a different one and pull it through. And there we go. And then I'm just going to touch this up. And probably just 
pull that over. It's okay if it's a little spot. I don't really care. Okay, so now we're gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna we're gonna overlap this layer a little bit so that um, the colors don't bleed together. Because if I go down to where it meets, it's going to uh, miss part of it. We want to push hard enough that the paint spreads out. We're already getting some nice color variation. Alright, and now you can see that we've got these really thin lines, whereas up here we had the bars. That is because the colors of the first set that we did are starting to run together with these colors. And so it's starting to make those, those thin lines as the colors kind of fill in these little, uh, I don't know, grasper things. I don't know what they are. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> do our last layer here. We're going to bring some paint to the edge, and then we're going to go through it. And just pull this little paintbrush through. Okay, so we've got some good color. The only other thing I could do is kind of bring it through the top to give the top some more variation. Um, I think I'm going to do it. It may actually ruin the painting. See, I talk about this all the time. Once you've gone through these colors too many times, they start to blend together and become muddy. Um, so that is a risk I'm, I run by going over these colors I've already gone. I could just leave the bars, but it looks kind of weird to me to have a bunch of thin ones at the bottom, but thick ones at the top. Could be a design thing, but it, it kind of bothers me. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and go over them, and we're going to see if we can um, pull some of these colors together and get some thinner bars here. Okay, <clears throat> and actually I'm going to leave it. It's not perfect, but uh, eh, I'm going to just kind of fade it. <clears throat> okay, now, now it's going to bother me. I, I don't know if I have OCD or what, but it's like if it doesn't... Uh, if the design doesn't carry through, it bothers me. Okay. I need to leave it alone before it gets worse. <laughs> um, and you notice that I didn't end up using more than one of these so I did for the corner but not not to run the paint through uh, ultimately I, I kind of like it so let me go ahead and uh, show you guys here so this is the final piece here all right so let's go ahead and take a look <clears throat> so 
you can see we've got those thin lines. And we've, what I like about the gold is the gold doesn't like to play by the rules. And so anytime I use the gold, it, it kind of like bubbles out anyway. And I think that's cool because, you know, it kind of breaks up the design. Now, it went a little dark on the top because I went over it too many times. It's just, it's like I see part of the design and it doesn't match the rest of the flow, so it bothers me. Even though it probably looks just fine. So that's just kind of something I deal with. Um, but you can see that we got those thin lines that we're trying to achieve. I mean, these lines are, are paper thin. Like that string of gold right in the middle of the screen, or yellow, whatever it is, super thin, paper thin. Um, so, I mean, that's what we're trying to achieve, though, so success. Uh, ultimately, I don't mind the painting. I like the way that it turned out. The colors are interesting. Um, probably not my favorite color scheme. Kind of reminds me of watermelon. I don't know. But um, not too bad. So, ultimately, this is the, uh, the end of the painting. And I will do some more in the next couple weeks. I probably won't do as many as I did last year. I just kind of got crazy with it and then it started being too much. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, even if your year isn't going super spectacular, it could get better. So don't worry about it. But more paintings are coming in the future and Pollock style painting at 1750. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.